Hi. Now today we will discuss about a common uh, condition which we are hearing regularly today uh, which is being diagnosed or picked up in, in the unborn baby or the babies before birth. This condition is called hydronephrosis. Nowadays we know we almost every pregnant mother goes through ultrasound scans to look at the well-being of the baby inside and one of the common uh, common things picked up on these ultrasounds is a little bit of swelling in one or both the kidneys of the babies inside the womb. This condition is called hydronephrosis that is it, it, it indicates that there is a little bit of urine that is stuck up in the either one or both the kidneys. This is not a serious condition by itself. I see a lot of parents who come to me for an expert opinion about this hydronephrosis. The pregnant mother and the would-be father are very tensed up usually that their unborn baby already has some major problem with the kidneys. This is not the case. Most of these conditions, most of these so-called hydronephrosis might subside spontaneously as the pregnancy advances. That is the first thing. Of course, some of them, the more severe forms, may not subside but may require follow-up during pregnancy and after birth. So typically, most of these problems are very benign conditions and they can, they'll give you, they'll give us adequate time for the baby to be born and after birth to evaluate the baby with ultrasound scan and then various other tests if necessary and then decide on the appropriate treatment. So many of these hydronephrosis are usually self-limiting. If at all there is a cause of this hydronephrosis that needs treatment, there are a few causes which uh, can cause hydronephrosis. The commonest cause is and, and, and these are all basically aberrations. The urinary tract when it is formed, the urinary tract is formed in multiple parts and then they are all joined together. So any of these joints may have a manufacturing defect which can result in this, this finding on the ultrasound called hydronephrosis. Now among the conditions which might require treatment after birth, uh, causing hydronephrosis. So the commonest is called PUJ obstruction uh, um, uh, so which is basically a, a partial obstruction between the kidney and the ureter or the tube that drains urine from the kidney into the bladder. This is this is the commonest of all the uh, uh, manufacturing defects causing hydronephrosis. Now of course, even PUJ obstructions, many times they are partial obstructions and uh, sometimes they can be just managed by observation without actually doing anything or using some simple medication to avoid infections. However, in severe cases of obstruction, if the kidney function is also getting compromised, they may require a surgical treatment which is called a pyloplasty. This is a, 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 a pyloplasty is one of the commonest operations that we perform in our practice uh, and we do all these operations now by laparoscopy even in one month or two month old babies with more than 97 to 98 percent success uh, in this uh, procedure. So uh, uh, if there is a PUJ obstruction that is diagnosed when you when we, when we investigate the cause of hydronephrosis after the baby is born then some of these children might actually require a surgery called pyloplasty which we now do uh, laparoscopically that is without any cuts and this is basically a, a minimally invasive surgery or keyhole surgery with excellent results. We have personally done more than 800 laparoscopic pyloplasty operations for PUG obstruction in children. This is one of the largest numbers in the world. So. And the results of these operations are usually excellent. The children recover very fast and, uh, and uh, so there is nothing to worry for the parents that if even if their child is diagnosed uh, with a kidney problem, there is nothing to worry. All they have to do is to consult the right specialist 
and that specialist would actually determine whether that child would require any, uh, any intervention or whether that child can be managed expectantly. Even in, in cases where the child requires a surgery like a pyeloplasty, as I said earlier, these operations can be done very successfully and very safely even in small babies by keyhole surgery or laparoscopy with excellent results.